everyone welcome back hope you're doing well uh, please excuse my little messy bun but I have not done my hair yet today I did do this makeup look and I will either put a card wherever it's there or just look for the one before or after I don't know which one of these videos will go first today I'm going to do a skincare routine and this has been highly requested a lot of people have asked me you know what are you doing your skin looks really good and I am really happy with the way it looks it could look a tad bit better but I'll tell you why I cannot do that in a minute okay um, first of all let me tell you what my skin is like I have sensitive skin a lot of it is because I have a compromise compromised compromised immune system by having lupus and I am very reactive skin I have to be careful on what kind of skincare products even uh, band-aids or bandages I go for blood work a lot and if they don't wrap around because I usually go like over here if they don't wrap around the gauze and they put like the tape I will get a rash it doesn't last long but still it's a pain in the you know what okay as far as like how my skin acts I have combo skin where it usually stays normal to dry in the cheek area and like down here and in the t-zone it's normal to oily so I'm combo all over the place uh, because I live in a semi-tropical semi area I don't go through the really dry skin in the winter and the really oily skin in the summer in the summer, my skin's not oily, but I do sweat a lot because of the heat. Um, this does stay pretty dry, so it stays the same throughout the year. Maybe it'll get a tad, tad oilier in the summer, maybe. But honestly, most of the time I'm in an air-conditioned house or building or whatever, so I'm not out there in the heat to feel all that. Now, the one thing that I have discovered this year that I love, and I have not been able to find a SPF that reacts so well to my skin until now. And I wanna give a big shout out and a thank you to my friend, Sherry A. She's on here on YouTube and I will link her down below. She's Sherry A, a the eyes have it. But I think her channel just says Sherry A. Need my water. Okay, this is the Elta MD Skincare UV Daily Broad Spectrum SPF 40. I love this. Love, 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 love this. I have this on now along with the moisturizer that I'm going to show you. Now, I believe you could use this as a moisturizer if you just wanted something light but wanted that SPF coverage. But most of the time, I use the moisturizer too. Uh, not this one, but another one. Now it says on here that it's sheer and lightweight. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you pump it out and it's white, but it just, that color dissipates and it just goes into your skin really nice. You don't feel it all day. Love, love. And it has hyaluronic acid, which is a great, great ingredient to keep the moisture in your skin. And uh, has transparent zinc oxide, so it doesn't give you the like color bounce back or the whiteness when you look at pictures after you've taken them, you know what I mean? And it's UVA, UVB protection, moisturizing, moisturizing, I always have a hard time saying that word, moisturizing facial sunscreen. It's for normal combination and post-procedure skin. Terrific. I love it. Thank you, Sherry. So that's my SPF. And I'm going on that that uh, soapbox. Use SPF every day. Use it, use it, use it. I have used this underneath my eyes too. doesn't bother it. I do have another product that I like too. But when I'm in a hurry or when I'm just feeling like crap, which is a lot of days, I like to just put smack this all over my face. I'm not smacking, but really just put it all over. I put it along my neck. And then I even have a little extra that I put on my arms. Love. Thank you again. Okay, talking about the SPF under the eyes. This is a really nice product. I believe it's a medical grade because I purchased it at my med spa. 
This is the Color Science Total Eye. And this is a three-in-one renewal therapy. It's 35 broad spectrum, uh, SPF 35, and it's PA++. And it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Those are the active ingredients. And this comes in like a little pump thing. You only need to pump out like a half of a whatever you want to call it and then you can take this and rub it along if you're under your eyes feel puffy it's very uh, soothing and even if you don't put it in the refrigerator because I usually don't uh, it still has like that cooling effect which I like and a lot of times I just pump like a half a little drop there it is and then I just will tap 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 now today I did not use this I use this under my eyes. Like I said, this works great. This works great. The difference is, is this will give you a little bit of a tint like I can show you. You don't have to use a lot of concealer. When I'm having a day where I'm really dark under my eyes, I like to put this on and you see that color. And then I just dab a little tiny, uh, what did I say, concealer. And it's terrific. Really, it's a really, really nice product. Uh, it's a little on the pricey side. I think it was like $60, but it works really good. And I definitely will get this again. And you know I'm getting this again. All right. Uh, let's see. I do say all right a lot. Let's talk about cleansing and getting that makeup off. At the end of the day, I have to take my makeup off. I have to. Even if I just go in with the micellular cleansing water, which I'm going to show you in a second, and do it like twice around my face to make sure that it's all off, I am happy. And my favorite is the good old drugstore Garnier Skin Care. They used to call it Nutrice or something like that. This is great at removing makeup, and eye makeup is terrific. It doesn't burn my eyes. It doesn't... You know make my eyes itch or anything i tend to have a little bit of sensitivity in my eyes and uh this is really really good so i usually use that well, I, most of the time and then uh i go in with my cleanser this has been another product that just has blown my mind i sometimes watch dr dre who's uh a dermatologist and I'll try to link her down below I don't always agree with everything that she has to say and there's other things that I think that she should do for her own health but I'm not slamming her I'm not sipping no tea nothing like that I just want to say that this recommendation she gave has changed the skin texture so much on my face and this is the CeraVe and no this is not sponsored by them I don't sponsor I don't get anything free nobody but you knows who I am <laughs> this is a CeraVe renewing SA cleanser and SA stands for salicylic acid and yes people us people over 40 us people over 50 we can use salicylic acid it's not just for kids or teenagers let me be respectful that have acne this is wonderful I tend to get these little bumps on my face my dermatologist says it's just like aging skin these like zip them away I just love this and it it gently cleanses my skin it uh, exfoliates and it softens just terrific now to go back to the whole thing with the texture I started on Retin-A, actually the Trentoin, I can never pronounce that one, at 0.05% about two years ago. My dermatologist, once again, he prescribed it for me. And so I was using that and I did it all the different ways of like every other day, every week, uh, you know, because at first I was using it every day and my skin would get quite red, quite red. And then I had a conversation with somebody at a Lancome counter, got scared, and I shouldn't have gotten scared. I should have done my own research, and I won't even say what she said. Um, so then I stopped it. I mean, back and forth with it. Well, I decided that I was going to try some retinol because I know retinol is not as strong, and I don't know all the like physical components, the chemical stuff. If you need to know that then you can just google it not to be rude but i you know 
I'm not a chemist, so I'm not going to give you information that I'm not absolutely sure, or a doctor. I picked up this Neutrogena Rapid Tone Repair Moisturizer Night. Started using this. I could use it every day. My little bumpies started going away. I was so, so happy. I was even using a different face wash. Just like um, another one that I like that is just like kind of simple is by, oh, you buy it like at Sephora and other places. Neiman Marcus has it. And it's really not expensive. Uh, if I remember, I'll put it down here. Or I'll list it down below. But anyway, at that time, I was using just a nice cleanser. Nothing with salicylic acid. But this was great. My, uh, I felt like my lines were a little bit like lighter. But mostly, or lighter, diffused maybe. Mostly those bumpies. And then they're not milia because I asked my, my dermatologist and he looked at them. They just started going away. Even my husband, who's pretty good at like noticing little things that happen. A little sip of water. He started notice, noticing um, that my skin was looking smoother. And it's always the cheek area here. Always the cheek. Well, I started getting laser hair removal and when I first started uh, this was uh, like two months ago they told me that one of the things I could not use was retin-a or retinol and I was like oh, oh my goodness my skin it's been looking so nice so I put this to the back of the shelf until I'm done with my laser hair removal and then I will go back to it so then I discovered this and this is fabulous now I think when I combine this and this, there we go. It's gonna, be, my skin's just gonna be, I'm gonna be looking like a 20 year old. <laughs> so that's the story of that. So back to the shelf. Um, I am almost done with this and I really like it. I don't use it every day. I It's by Kiehl's and it's the Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser with Amazonian White Clay. And it exfoliates and detoxifies. I like to use this as a face mask where I get my face all wet and then I put a nice amount and just leave it there for about five, 10 minutes, take a washcloth, get it all off, and my skin feels just so nice and clean. This is a really, really nice product. Uh, it's, again, on the pricey side because it's Kiehl's, but it's worth it because it works nice and you don't have to worry about it, especially if you have lupus. You have to be so careful what you put on your face. It's it's crazy. So for people out there that have lupus and they just want a nice like mask or even just to cleanse it, this cleanse your face, this is great. Now, I don't use this and this because they're doing the same thing. And you don't want to use too much exfoliant on your skin or it's just it's you're overdoing it. All right, let's get to the just the moisturizer that has been my fav, 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 favorite for a number of years. And it's also by CeraVe. It's the PM lotion. I use it during the day. It doesn't matter. And this is the Facial Moisturizing Lotion Ultra Lightweight. That's a key here. That's a key here, people. I don't want skincare to feel like, you know, it's weighing me down. I want it to work and be lightweight. And it moisturizes throughout the night. And day because I do use it in the day and I have it on now and helps restore the physical skin barrier it has three essential ceramides another great thing for your skin uh, niacinamide great for your skin helps to reduce redness and hyaluronic acid holds that moisture in your skin love it and now the last product that is my recent but if you'll see when you see the two of you be like you just got that it just it's a little messy <laughs> and I actually think they could probably put in a better tubing system but maybe they will this is also by CeraVe once again not sponsored Ooh, this way this is the skin renewing vitamin C serum love this this has helped with dark spots that I have on my skin yes they're hyperpigmentation and there probably are other things I can use, but I have to be very careful, very careful. 
because my skin will react like that. And most of us that have lupus, you can agree with me now and say, oh yeah, I have to be so careful. This has 10% pure vitamin C. And it is sort of like a light gel. I don't want to waste it, but it's sort of like a gel, combination of a gel and a liquid. And it doesn't smell orangey. And it just works so well, so, so, so well. And then the last product that I'll talk about is this, also is new to me, but I really like it, it works wonderful. It's by Seraphine Botanicals. And it's the Daikon and Dreams Lip Exfoliator with Radish Extract. Really like this. I wasn't one to use you know, exfoliants on my lips, but I'm a girl who loves dark, dark lipstick, as you can see now and in most of my videos, there's a dark lippy there, bright lippy, I love them. And I like to get all of that color, plus the, the dead skin cells having like kind of dry, chronic dry mouth. See, it dries my lips out and this is terrific. Really, really love it. So those are the things that I use uh, to keep my skin looking nice. To me, it's very simple. I'm not into all the potions and serums and like a 12-step program. The one thing that I do really like and try to remember is double cleansing works for me. And that's why I use a cleanser. Well, first this, um, what do you call it? My cellular cleansing water and a good cleanser. And this one is my current fave. Love it, love it, love it. And moisturizer, because that's going to hold and condition your skin. So if I do those two things, I'm good. And then I can go in with the extras. So I hope that you enjoyed that and that I didn't speak too fast. I know people don't like watching videos that are really long. And I try to keep this under 15 minutes, but it's a little bit over. But I hope that you are enjoying your day and that you're doing well stay well wash your hands find that moment to be grateful for at least one thing you have or one thing that happened in today you'll feel better about life you really will i do it every day take care of yourselves bye bye